Hello everybody, how you doing? Okay, today I got a couple things going on. Uh, first thing I gotta do is go to the bank, put some money in there, cause I'm buying something new. It's not a new species or anything, but just another one that I need for future projects. Um, then I'm coming back, I'm gonna change all these bins out. So I'm gonna change those three for those six. So it's gonna be something on that road too. So three on the bottom, three on the top. Then we're gonna feed them some crickets. So you can see them eat, and how voracious they are at this small age and size. They all been eating well. I've been feeding them dubia, but this will be their first time eating crickets. Um, and after that, then I gotta clean the your master cage. So we're gonna do an update on those as well. Show you guys how big those guys are getting. The cage is so messy. But they're getting big and still coming to greet me at the door when I open it. My feet the um Insert of some dubia. The crickets that I have are too small. Actually, I'm gonna feed them some super worms here, and also the um, pelliere some super worms. I probably do, I probably show that in a separate video because the video is gonna get too long. But for now, I'm gonna run, make a run to the bank so I can purchase that animal. I should be doing an unboxing on Tuesday of that animal. Um, come back, switch these uh, bins out, and then show you them eating and update on your masses. So that'll be it for this video. And I'm trying to keep it as short as possible. Um, so I might sh might not show all the steps, so I might skip through it. So you might see the bins like this, and then next thing you know, it's full with them, and I'll be feeding. But try to keep the video short. Uh, these hornworms are growing pretty fast. I might get those to the iguanas on a separate video. So we'll see. But let's get everything started. Subscribe right now if you're not subscribed. Comment down below at the end of the video. Let's go. All right, I'm going to start off with the Your Masticade. Go ahead and get that out the way so I can feed them as well. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and clean this cage out, get them some fresh greens, um, some fresh crushed up torta pellets and uh, millet. And then I'm gonna um, go ahead and start with the um, dragons. Uh, so I'm gonna open this up and see how many actually come to me. Lights only been on for about an hour, so they're not completely warmed up yet. I'm gonna grab some greens and see if they come for that. This one coming in without the greens. All right, 
rocks. I'm gonna hurry up and just get this over it real fast. Go ahead and move these rocks. I was trying to avoid moving all the rocks and having them run from me. They might run from me, they may not. <laughs> And I still didn't buy no new vacuum cleaner bags when I was just at the store. Jumped out my hand. Looks like he's starting to shed his tail. Oh, that's just some poop. All right, so I'm nine of them. So like I, like I did last time, I'm gonna scrape all this to one side, scoop it out, and then uh, spray the disinfectant in there, let it sit for um, a little bit. And then uh, wipe it all out, replace the rocks, and put the, the baby's back in. Okay, cage cleaned out, food refreshing. I'm gonna mix the um, tortoise, two different types of tortoise pellets, some Missouri LS and uh, Pretty Pets tortoise pellets, which are colorful ones. Um, I grind it up a little bit, also added lentils and split peas also grind it up um, for smaller pieces and then a spring mix with calcium on top so i'm going to get these guys back in Right, and that's all nine of them in their clean cage.
Okay, now I'm going to do the same thing with the dragons. Um, I had three more eggs that was incubating uh, from the same clutch. Um, two of those have hatched. I've seen inside the incubator. I'm waiting for the last one I hatch. So hopefully that one hatches today um, so I can show you guys those three tomorrow. But I'm going to put all these into one bin with a little bit of water. Let them hydrate. Replace the bins. Make it six bins in here if they fit. And then um, I'm going to separate them into smaller groups so that um, I don't have any, have least chance of getting any nips or anything like that. So we're going to go ahead and get that started. Um, show you, I'm going to show you guys me taking them out so you guys can see them again. But uh, once I set it up, I'm going to do that off camera so I can go a little faster. And um, it's pretty much going to be the same setup. Two pieces of egg crate. I think I have enough vine to do all six cages. I'm not sure. If I'm not, I'm just going to put the egg crate in there. And uh, maybe not have water bowls in the bottom three. I'm going to have to find them. They're somewhere in these bins. I have a lot of, I have a lot of them. I just have to locate them. Um, I'll do that this weekend um, once I get off work. Today's Friday. So when I get off work um, Saturday morning, um, I'll go through those bins and try to find those other um, water containers. But I've been spraying them down anyway, and they drink the uh, condensation from when I spray. Uh, from off the side, they drink that more than what they do inside of these bowls anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and get that started, um, show you guys them all. Actually, I'm going to collect them all, show you guys them all in a uh, container. And then when I put them back in here, I'll show you guys that portion of it uh, so we can go a little faster. So stay tuned. All right, guys, I got all the um, big dragon cages um, set up. I ran out of the vine type uh, plants, so I have to use some of this. And I'm going to keep the water, water bowls out for right now. And uh, I'm going to put all matching water bowls in there. But I, like I said, I spray them right now, so the water bowl is really not important. It evaporates before they even drink it anyway. But I'll just have it in there just in case. But um, for right now, I'm just going to make sure I keep them sprayed down. And um, let's see here. <clears throat> I was kind of worried about them not fitting in here, um, all three of them. And they really didn't fit, if you can see here. I had to kind of set this one on top of the other two. But it works fine. Um, they can, they're not too heavy that they're, they're going to sink down or anything. So, time to just get them in there. I'm going to get a total count and then divide it into groups. As you can see, they already been using the bathroom. So, they've been eating already. Eating good. And we have two, four... Two, four, seven, ten, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, nineteen, nineteen, six, three, two. So I'm gonna put four in one of them and three in the other ones. So I'm going to start off with the, the normal looking ones without trans or anything. So, we have one donor here and one uh, normal does head. I'm going to put those two right here. So, put the hypo donor in there with them. Hypo genetic stripe. No, that's just a regular genetic stripe there. The hypo genetic stripe is here. So that's gonna be the four foot that one. We're gonna go hypo zero. Go one, two. We're gonna do two hypo zeros. This one might be regular zero. 
So we're gonna do two regular zeros. And then a hypo zero for this one. And then for that one, we're gonna put um, the hypo zeros with the patching on the back. One. Three of them right there. Those in that one. And I just saw that we have another normal one, so I'm gonna swap this one out with the hypo zero. We're gonna go hypo zero. Genetic stripe donor, translucent genetic stripe, and with the translucent donor, that one. Then we can go trans zeros to. Three. Then we're doing trans zero, trans zero, hypo trans. I believe that's the genetic strike donor for that one. And that'll be them all set up. And I'm gonna let them. Um, dry off they're probably not gonna eat right now so i have to probably do the feeding video video tomorrow i'm gonna feed them before i go to work today but i'm pretty sure they're not gonna eat right now so i'll do that video tomorrow but that's the hypo hypo zeros with the patching all in this one uh, hypo zeros and normal zeros in this one on all the normal type stuff in this one. There's one genetic stripe in there. Uh, trans donor. I think it's trans genetic stripe donor here. And then we have those other three that need to hatch. So I'll probably, um, depending on what hatches out, two of them are zeros. I already seen it. And um, whatever the last one is, I'll put it in to match what we have up in here. I'm gonna attempt to give them some crickets anyway. Um, even though they just did a lot of movement, moving, they may not eat. Some may, some may not. Um, but I'm gonna try anyway and see if I can get it on video for you guys. So I'm just gonna give them a little crickets. See one over there. You just try to attack one. You got one to eat. That's one of the hypos with the patching on the back. Hypo zeros, that is. Missed two times. <laughs> but yeah, tomorrow around this time, depending on how many creatures they eat today. Um, well, it's, too early. it's too early in the day. Oh, you just missed one. It's too early in the day. So I'm pretty sure this would, these creatures will hold them off for today. 
And then tomorrow around this time, once they're used to the cage and everything, and I feed them, you'll see a lot more action. But at least we got to see one. Alright guys, that's going to be the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to get a better feeding video um, of these dragons soon. Um, hopefully tomorrow. They, they should have a bigger appetite tomorrow. Pretty sure they're going to have a good appetite. Once they calm down into this new, new tanks, they're going to be eating more. As you can see, this one was already chasing. A couple of them was already chasing, but it's just... They still getting used to this cage as well. But alright guys, it's going to be the end of the video. Have a good one.